Good morning, family. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. Come on in. I am Pastor Carolyn, your pastor and purpose pusher of Tears to Breakthrough Ministries under the spiritual covering of Apostle Felicia Anderson of the House of Healing International. And yes, we are breaking through together. So again, happy Sunday and welcome image bearers. Today is Sunday. So on Sunday, we do our Sunday morning inspiration. And for those of you who are new, grab a cup of coffee or tea and join us. What I'm going to do is we're going to do a throwback message from my blog talk radio show. And we're just going to sit around the radio, sipping on our tea or hot chocolate or coffee or whatever your favorite uh, hot beverage is. And we're going to listen to my throwback message from my blog talk radio show. And today it's all about you and that pity party that you're having. That's right, I'm talking to you. Those of you who have been sitting around, moping around, woe is me, why me? Why does this always happen to me? Why don't they ever think about me? Me, 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 throwing a pity party. It's all about that pity party. So come on over, let's sit back and relax. And we're gonna to listen to my blog talk video show about mm, that pity party that you've been having day in and day out. Some of you month in and month out and some of you year in and year out, you're always throwing a pity party. If that is you or someone you know, mm, Listen in with me. I'm just going to sit back and relax, and we're going to listen to this week's message, okay? And I am going to share my screen at some point because I don't want to distract you because it is a radio show, actually. So I want you to really listen to uh, the content of my radio show, okay? So here we go. Sit back, relax, and um, listen in. No more pity parties. Before I hit the button, let's just say that. Say, I declare and decree no more pity parties. I declare and decree that I will no longer wallow in this mess, whatever that mess is. I will no longer wallow in it and I will no longer throw a pity party and invite others to it. Okay? All right, here you go. Let's listen in. Here we go. It's time for the Tears to Break Through radio show with host, author, Carolyn Ritter Watson, breaking through tears, bondage, love, and hurt, equipping you with tools to execute your God given purpose. Remember to order your copy of Tears in a Bottle now, available on Amazon.com, and receive a free companion guide. Hi, good morning, and welcome to the Tears to Break Through radio show. My name is Carolyn Ritter Watson, and I am your host. I thank you for stopping by. I encourage you to sit back, relax, grab a cup of coffee or tea, and be blessed. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Tears to Breakthrough Sunday Morning Inspiration Session. And I am your host and purpose pusher, Carolyn Ritter Watson, just giving you that little nudge, that little push into your God given purpose. And so I thank you for joining this morning. And family, today I have an awesome show lined up for you. Um, Because I just want to kind of invite you in because um, I guess my question for you is, are you having a pity party? Are you having a pity party? So many times when we go through things in life, we get so um, 
consumed by whatever it is we're going through that we have a pity party. We have a pity party and sometimes we'll have that party alone or sometimes we'll invite other people. Today, that's what I want to talk about, that pity party. <laughs> so if you're having a pity party or you, you might be planning a pity party, you might be in the midst of a pity party, you might be coming out of a pity party, um, this show is for you. So definitely share this show out. Sharing is caring. Share it out to a friend. Um, and we're going to get started. But you know how I like to do. I like to set the atmosphere. Set the atmosphere. Because um, God inhabits the praises of his people. And so, you know, we have to give all praises due unto God, right? Giving him all the honor. Giving him all the praise, right? Um, and just trusting him today, just trusting him. Amen. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to, um, I'm going to get started with our praise and worship. So I want you to just sit back and relax, take a deep breath. I know you're in the midst of that pity party, so you're probably all out of breath, right? Because you've probably been partying all night long. But right now I want you to just take a deep breath and breathe in the rule of breath of God as we go into this um, praise and worship. Okay, take a deep breath. Here we go. Let it go. Breathe in all the blessings of God, all the promises of God. Yes and amen. And breathe out anything that doesn't line up with God's truth for your life. Here we go. Breathe. <laughs> yes, Come on, you can praise him. Come on, you can praise him.
want to give God all the honor. We just want to give him all the praise that is due unto him. Thank you, God, for a brand new day. I thank you, Lord God, that this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. When the praises go up, the blessings come down. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. If you just tuned in, this is the Tears to Breakthrough Sunday morning inspiration session, and I am your host and purpose pusher, just pushing you into your God-given purpose, giving you that little nudge that you need to carry that thing out for real. (laughs) Hey, man, we want to carry that thing out for real. And so thank you so much for joining me today. If you would like to call in, our guest call-in number is area code 347-237-5083. That's area code 347-237-5083. I would love for you to call in, call in and chime in and be a part (laughs) of today's program. And so today we are talking about pity parties. Say that with me right now. Pity party. That's right. But some of you are just wallowing in it today. Some of you are wallowing in it today. And so what is a pity party? What is a pity party? Well, a pity party is a party. Sometimes it could be a private party. Sometimes you can invite friends and family to the party. But it's one in which you just kind of um, wallow in it. You know, you're, you something may have happened. Somebody might have done something to you. Somebody might have offended you. Um, and whatever has happened has led you to this place where you decided to have a pity party. And that's what I said. You decided because everything is a decision. And so your pity party, um, it's, it's a way of experiencing grief, um, you know, where you're spending time feeling sorry for yourself and whining and murmuring and complaining and um, about whatever happened to you or whatever someone has done to you. That pity party can be, you know, like I said, just you by yourself, just one person. Or you might decide that you want to invite other people. You might invite your girls. You might invite some relatives. You might invite some um, co-workers, I don't know who you would invite to your pity party, but some people like to invite others to their pity party, and others like to just kind of go it alone. So, you know, you you, and you have food, you have food because you're binging on ice cream or cookies or cake or whatever it is you like to binge on, um, and, and you're just having this pity party. You are just wallowing in it for some of the more seasoned uh, folk out there, you know, there used to be a a, um, a song, I'm talking like way back in the day, and they used to say, it's my party, I can cry if I want to, cry if I want to, you would cry too if it happened to you, <laughs> and that's kind of where some of you are, it's my party, this is my problem, this is my thing, this is my hurt, I can cry if I want to, I can cry if I want to, you would cry too if it happened to you, right, and that's where you are right now, in that space. You're in that space where you're feeling sorry for yourself. You're in that space where you just want to wallow in that thing. And guess what? I've been there. I've been in that space. I, You know, many of you know my story. Um, I know when I was going through a divorce, or even leading up to this divorce, where I really um, dealt with depression, um, where I wasn't, I'm going to be real, I wasn't taking showers, I wasn't leaving the house, I wasn't even getting getting dressed. You know, if I was dressed, it was probably because it was the same clothes that I had been wearing. And so I guess I would be one of those people who, if I had a pity party, I would not invite somebody else into that. <laughs> I just kind of went it alone. But, you know, that's not of God. God is not calling us to ride it out alone. Right. And then God is not calling for us to wallow in it and have a pity party and invite others into it to, to fuel the fire, because that, that's what happens. Usually when you invite others, you know, usually we don't invite people who are, you know, going to be 
you know, real with us. You're not going to really invite somebody to that pity party. They're going to say, girl, get up out of that bed and get yourself together. No, you, most of the time we will invite somebody that will kind of lie there with us and wallow and compare stories and say, oh, well, I've got the same wound. I was wounded here too. I was wounded there too. Oh, okay, get some more ice cream. Get some more ice cream. You know, for some of you, get some more wine. Get some more whatever, you know, and just wallow in that thing for days at a time, for weeks at a time, sometimes for months at a time, in some cases, for years at a time. And so I'm here today to tell you to cancel the pity party. Say that with me right now. Say, I'm going to cancel my pity party. I want you to cancel the pity party. Cancel the pity party. And right now, I'm going to go to a commercial break. And when I come back, we're going to dive into this thing. But meanwhile, I want you to figure out ways to cancel that pity party. Here is our commercial. Think about that. Think about ways that you can cancel that pity party. And if you're invited people, tell them not to show up. <laughs> Amen. Hey, twin, what are you doing? I'm doing some guilt-free shopping at Layla Simone Shop for a Cause. This is amazing. I can shop with a purpose and for a cause. Did you know that Layla Simone supports breast cancer research, awareness, women in crisis, and youth-related nonprofits? Each time I shop online within their network, a donation is made automatically with no additional cost to me. I love guilt-free shopping. Wow, they even offer personal shopper services? Move over. I love shopping online. And for a good cause, I'm in. What is their contact info? You can call 610-504-0690 or go to laylasimone.com. I am back. That's Layla Simone Shop for a Cause. That's my organization with my 11-year-old granddaughter, Layla, where you can shop with a purpose and for a cause. Okay, so check us out. Um, meanwhile, we are talking about that pity party today. And so right before the commercial break, I asked you to get it some thought. Get some thought as to what it is that you can do to get out of that bed today. What is it that you can do? Who can you call that will motivate you to cancel that pity party and get out of that bed. You know, like I said, many times we want to um, call the people who will help us to wallow in it. We don't really want somebody that's going to really pull us out of that. And so I want you to, if you call someone, make sure it's somebody that's going to be transparent with you and, and real with you. Make sure it's somebody that's not going to add salt to the wound. Make sure it's somebody that can really encourage you and inspire you and, and show love to you. You know, in love, because when we deal with people, we want to we want to um, deal with them in love, and so they can, in love, encourage you to cancel that pity party, right? And so many of you have been experiencing a pity party for a very long time. You've just been partying it up. <laughs> you have, and so um, I want you to go to Exodus. I'm going to give you many scriptures today, so kind of write those scriptures down and meditate on those scriptures throughout the week. As a matter of fact, when you feel like you feel sorry for yourself, meditate on these scriptures. And I'm going to start with Exodus 14, 14. And it says, the Lord shall fight for you, and ye, and, well, ye <laughs> shall hold your peace. So I'm going to say that again, that's Exodus 14, 14. The Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. Because some of you think you should fight your own battles. And you don't have to fight your own battle. The battle is not even yours. It's the Lord's. Let God fight your battles for you. You know, you don't have to call somebody up and cuss them out. You don't have to sit around and plot and plan on how to get them back. You do not have to do that. Exodus 14, 14 tells us the Lord shall fight for you. God will fight for you. He will fight for you and he shall, and you shall hold your peace. So you think about holding your peace because that's the other thing about pity parties. You're, you're meditating on that thing. You're thinking about the, the offense over and over again. And then you start thinking about ways to get back at the person. And then sometimes when you invite people to the other people to the pity party, they're going to help you fuel the fire. And I say, listen, girl, 
do this to this. I said, that was me. If that happened to me, if he did that to me, if she did that to me, I would do this. I would do that. I would do this. Oh, no, 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 no. We are canceling that out. We are trusting God's day. Amen. We're going to um, meditate on Exodus 14, 14. The Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. That's for somebody out there. That's for somebody out there. Okay? And so you want to uh, meditate on the word. You want to meditate on on uh, positive affirmations. And, and, and I want to, for those of you, because some of you are joining me in the Tears to Breakthrough uh, virtual conference center. Right now we're doing the 30-day affirmation challenge where we change our words to change our life. And that's taken from my book, Lipstick and Daily Confessions. And so feel free to join us. Um, it is a private uh, Facebook group. I usually say for ladies only, but we do have a few gents that uh, that join from time to time. But definitely join because over the next 30 days, we're going to be, we're not going to be fueling the fire. We're going to be fueling our, our uh, lives. We're going to fuel ourselves with confidence, right, so that we can walk in victory and not in pity, right? We're canceling the pity party today, amen? And so that's a 30-day affirmation challenge. And so I want to encourage you, whether you join us or not, which I strongly encourage you to join us, but to make a daily declaration. You know, I want to encourage you to take deliberate action towards creating the life that you want to see. Stop wallowing in what happened to you. Stop wallowing in what he said, she said. Stop wallowing in it and take action. It is time to step out of mentality, out of that victim mentality, out of whatever has happened to you, and it's time to walk in victory. And so instead of having a pity party, you can have a celebration of victory because you are victorious today. And so I challenge you to um, daily declare what you want to see in your life, despite your circumstances, despite what has happened to you, despite what they've said to you, despite whatever is going on right now that has caused you to want to have a pity party. Declare what you want to see in your life. Declare it and decree it. Scripture says that when we declare a thing and decree a thing, that thing shall be established. And so you want to establish those things that you want to see in your life. Right? And something as simple as speaking out what you would like to see to come to pass in your life is so powerful. It creates an expectation, and that expectation will change your mindset, it will change your attitude, and it will even change your atmosphere, the atmosphere around you, right? And so that's what we want to do today. We want to flip the script. We want to change our atmosphere. We want to change our mindset. We don't want to wallow in it and have a pity party and invite others. No. And we don't want to wallow in it and have a pity party and don't go it alone either, right? We want to be victors because you are in, you are a victor. You are victorious in every situation, but that mindset is a choice. That's a choice mindset. And so not only is there power in the words you speak, because you hear me say that all the time, there's so much power in our words. But not only is there power in the words you speak, but there is power in how you think. There's power in that mindset, those mental thought patterns. And so, family, today, I want to empower you. <laughs> I want you to encourage yourself. I want you to watch those words that you're saying. And so... Um, I invited you to join us for the 30-Day Affirmation Challenge. And just know that during this challenge, I challenge you to harness the power of your thoughts. Harness those thoughts. You know, discipline your mind. Be mindful of where it is, you know, taking you. Where is your mind taking you? To change your life, in order to change your life, in order to change your circumstances, you know, sometimes all you need to do is change your perspective. Change your perspective on that situation. Do you see yourself as a victim or do you see yourself as a victor, right? Think about it. Think like a victor. Start thinking thoughts of change. 
I want you to declare out loud every detail about how your ideal life should look. What do you want your ideal life to look like? Think about it. Give it some thought. I want you to give it some thought, and I'm going to um, play some music here, and I will be right back. I want you to hold on. Hold on. This is James Fortune, Monica, and, and uh, Fred Hammond. We want to encourage you today to just hold on. Hold on. Hold on.
We don't want to participate in them. We want to cancel them. So cancel that pity party. It is time to get up and come out of that victim state of mind. No more excuses. No more nursing and rehearsing the past hurts, and some may even be fresh new hurts, but it doesn't matter. We're no longer going to nurse those hurts. We're no longer going to rehearse those hurts over and over again in our minds. Again, that's a tactic and a strategy from the enemy. But you know what? You know what? It happened. Now what? It happened. Whatever happened, it happened. It did happen. But now what? What are you going to do about it? You have wallowed in it. You have had your pity party. You even invited others to join in. How is that working out for you, as Dr. Phil would say? How is that working out for you? Let me tell you, God's plan and purpose for your life has not stopped because you went through whatever it is you went through. Whatever it is that you've gone through, God has not changed his mind about you. Stop being a victim and claim the victory. Cancel the pity party. Cancel that party and take authority. And I want you to meditate on these scriptures. So here we go. Job 5.11. It says, he set on high those who are lowly and those who mourn are lifted to safety. That's Job 5.11. 11. And then Psalm 27, 13 through 14, it says, I believe I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be strong, and may your heart be stout. Wait on the Lord. And then Isaiah 41, 10, it says, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. Yes, I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Woof. The word is rich, isn't it? It's rich. And then John 16, 33, it says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulations. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And then Romans 8, 28. We know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. One more, Romans 8, 37, 39. Know in all these things, this is one of my favorites. I mean, they're all my favorites, but this is one of my favorites. Know in all these things. So I don't care what you've gone through. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care if it was from your past. I don't care if it's something that just happened. Know in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, neither angels nor principalities nor powers, neither things present nor things to come, neither height nor death nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Be encouraged today. Cancel the pity party. Cancel the pity party. Cancel the pity party. I pray that you were encouraged today. I pray that you cancel that pity party. And don't forget to join me on Facebook, the Tears to Breakthrough Virtual Conference Center. Right now we're doing the 30-day affirmation challenge. And if you're wallowing in it and having a pity party, you need to join. So definitely join us. I thank you so much for joining me today. I pray that you have a blessed and marvelous week. Let me just pray it out, Father God. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God. And Lord, thank you for your presence, Lord God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord God, for this time to impart to those who are wallowing in their pain, Lord God. I, I thank you for this time to pour into them, Lord God. You said that your word will not return void. And so I ask that your word will go forth, Lord God, and comfort somebody who may be going through today, somebody who may have decided to have a pity party, Lord God, somebody who, who might find themselves alone and lonely, Lord God, and they might not have even invited anybody to join them in the pity party. They might be going it alone, and I know what that feels like, Lord God. So comfort them today, Lord God. You said you would be their comforter, Lord God. 
Hallelujah. I ask that you will give them comfort. I ask that you will give them courage, Lord God. Hallelujah. I ask that you will cover them today. And Lord God, I speak a third John blessing over everyone under the sound of my voice. And I pray above all things that they will prosper, that they will be in health even as their soul prospers. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Thanks again for joining me today. Cancel the pity party. And you know how I like to go out. You know how I like to go out with Howard Hewitt. Here we go. I will see you next week. Have a blessed week. God bless.
Amen. 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 Thank you so much for joining me for my Sunday morning inspiration session. This is Pastor Carolyn, your pastor and purpose pusher. This is your Sunday morning inspiration throwback session. Amen. So thanks for joining me. You have a blessed and marvelous week. May God bless you. May he keep you. May heaven smile upon you. Cancel that pity party. Amen. Cancel the pity party and enjoy your life. Live on purpose. Amen. Life is worth the living. Live on purpose. Amen. Be encouraged and not discouraged. And I will see you next time. God bless.